What's up guys, Matt here, MKC Performance. Here we've got the, uh, the VR6 head uh, on our pneumatic valve spin compressor. Uh, we're just going to do a couple of the, the last two valves just to kind of show you how it's going on. So obviously there's no air in the system right now and the ram is in the closed position. So what we're going to do now is start metering air into the ram through the regulator. And we're just going to, there we go. That's it now seated. Now we're going to increase the pressure. There we go. And now we get our magnet. We fish out the keepers. That's one of them. And that's the second one. And now we're going to back up the pressure. all the way and obviously because this isn't a spring assisted ram we need to help it take off the uh, the pusher device i haven't got a name for that yet slide over to the next one line it up as best we can and we'll gradually bring the pressure in for the pusher device to find itself as long as we're happy it's central concentric to this to the retainer we'll start cracking on the pressure Just fish out the keepers. There's one. And there's two. And back off the pressure. Quite easy to make. Leftover scraps. All you really need is the uh, the, now, the normal pushing device. Like I said, I haven't got name for that. Uh, because our old, our old system was this. It was a cheap and nasty off Amazon valve spring compressor. Now what we've done for the VR heads is we've had to extend it by about four inches because the VR heads are so huge. Uh, a standard length valve spring compressor of this type won't be able to get in. Uh, so that, uh, you probably get away with the 12 valve ones uh, but when you start to get to the dizzy heights of four valves per cylinder, uh, this is certainly a, a, a must. You'll probably get away with this with the two valve per cylinder, but again, four, cylinder, four valve per cylinder, no. So there we go.